This technical tip was sponsored by Bauer, heavy duty bearings by NTN. Visit powerofbauer.com to learn more. When replacing a heavy duty clutch pilot bearing, there are a few options to consider. You should always follow the OEM recommendations as they will require either standard or high temperature bearings and that difference between the two is extremely important. While clutch pilot bearings are often thought of as a relatively simple deep groove ball bearing, they are actually highly engineered and purpose built for demanding applications. Major differences between standard and high temp bearings is the use of different greases and seal materials as you can see here. Our standard tip clutch pilot bearings, the grease that is used is a Polyrex EM grease with a range of negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit to 338 degrees Fahrenheit. The seal is a full contact nitrile seal and it has a temperature range of negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. The high temperature clutch pilot bearings, the grease that is used is Crytox and it has a temperature range of negative 40 degrees to 428 degrees Fahrenheit. And the seal is a full contact Viton seal, which has a temperature range of negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll usually find high temp bearings in heavy duty applications. And you'll want to note if the clutch pilot bearing you're servicing also has an integrated snap ring. These can seem like small details, but a clutch bearing failure can put a truck on the side of the road, restrict shifting, and possibly damage the intermediate shaft, or potentially the entire clutch pack assembly. And that's not a comeback service call that you want to field. For even more heavy duty bearing insight, be sure to head over to powerofbauer.com. Thanks for watching. This technical tip was sponsored by Bauer, heavy duty bearings by NTN. Visit powerofbauer.com to learn more.